Jean-Baptiste Vico, De Nostri Temporis Studiorum Ratione Oratio, Episode 5. Itaque talis in re literaria, verulamius egit, quales in erdrebus publicis maximorum potentes imperiorum, qui sumam in humanum agenus, potentiam adepti, ingentes suas opes in ipsam rerum natura vexanda profundentes, et sterne re saxis maria, vilificar dramontes, aliaque per naturam vetita frustra tamen conati sunt. And now Vico begins to summarize his argument, and he says, And so, Verulamius. This is a masculine singular nominative adjective. It means a man from Verulamium, which is St. Albans in England. And that's the home of this man, Francis Bacon. So he's continuing to talk about Francis Bacon, but naming him after his place. And so, Verulamius acted in re literaria, behaved, conducted himself, in matters of literature, talis qualis, just like those men do in rebus publicis. So we have the contrast between in re literaria, verulamius, and in rebus publicis. In public affairs, those men who were potentes, the most powerful, maximorum imperiorum, of the greatest body politics, the greatest empires, men qui, who, adepti. And now we will have adepti and Sunt will be the verb that goes with it, as with conati. So men who acquired adepti, this is from adipiscor, the deponent third conjugation verb, adipiscor, men who acquired the summam potentiam, the greatest power in humanum genus, with respect to or over the human race. Men who were their own riches, in gentes suas opas, their own vast riches, they were profundentes. They were lavishing their own vast wealth in ipsum for this purpose, that is, the acquisition of, put, of the highest power, summam potentiam, as I take it, lavishing their own vast wealth, profundentes, on this object, while the natura rerum, the state of affairs, the nature of circumstances, was being harassed or in a state of disarray. And what else did these potentes, these powerful men, do? At, and, they were sternere, they were lying the seas, lining, excuse me, the seas with stones, that is, building harbors. They were wellificare, the mountains, that is, to make sail. They were sailing over the mountains. I think it means to sail over the mountains, but perhaps it means making the mountains themselves to sail. It's not clear to me. And finally, they attempted conati sunt. This is from the deponent verb, first conjugation, conari. They attempted other things that were wetita, forbidden by nature. They attempted them, however, in vain, to no purpose. So to summarize then, according to Vico, where Alamius, meaning Francis Bacon from St. Albans, acted in matters of literature like the powerful of the greatest nations acted in their search for the highest power. They moved mountains, they did all of these things that were vetita per naturam, forbidden by nature, and they did these things in vain, frustra.